One thing you touched on was uh, school lunch programs. Uh, how big of a, a, a crusade is that of, of your foundation to get this uh, available to kids? A lot of kids in, in schools don't have options with their lunches. They either have what's there or bring something from home. Uh, that's, a, that's a question that's so near and dear to my heart because we started to work with the Department of Health and Human Services on reaching out to the underserved community. How can we really get the people diagnosed that can't afford to go to the doctor for six to ten years? And then also, um, how can we make sure that the food is available and affordable? And you know, and just getting vegetables into schools is not always is not an easy mm -hmm. task. So we were really fortunate to to um, I spoke at a, um, a an exposition and. I had a major food company approach me and say, you know what, we'd really like to partner with you and um, launch and pilot um, a, a gluten-free pizza into 100 public schools and see if, you know, if we can get all those schools trained and at least get a gluten-free pizza into the school so that a gluten-free pizza is available. Mm -hmm. When you talk about a, a gluten-free diet, do you still get the nutrition that that your body needs on this diet? I mean, you said stay to the periphery of the of the store, which is probably a pretty good thing, but is there a concern there making sure you get enough nutrition? Well, once you get diagnosed with celiac disease, you should get a whole pa you should understand um, what other vitamins you might be lacking in. So mm -hmm. one of the things you should do is get a bone density scan, um, look at for your vitamin D and other vitamins and, and nutrients that that you know you've got to look for six to ten years your body is, is not been absorbing, absorbing nutrients. So you've got to really look at, you know, first of all, what you're missing. And then, then make sure you go on a healthy gluten-free diet. There's a lot of junk gluten-free food out there that might be filled with sugar and filled with, you know, which, and you can have snacks, but you really have to, like any other, um, you know, any other condition, any other, whether it's an autoimmune disease or, you know, or not, you really have to eat a healthful diet and, and make sure that it's a well-rounded diet.